Uh, you know, just a disappointing effort, especially in the first half. I, I thought that we were, um, you know, we were not ourselves. We didn't play with the intensity and the, and the focus that we normally have displayed all year. Um, you know, I thought second half we picked it up. I, I still didn't think that we played, you know, as hard as we could play. It was good that we were able to, um, I think, get it down to seven or eight or whatever it was. But obviously, the deficit in the first half was uh, was huge, and uh, you know, it was tough to to overcome that. Um, I, you know, uh, I, I thought we had a few individuals that had really, really outstanding games. You know, two of them are obviously here at the media table, and a couple other players. But as a team, you know, we collectively we did not play at the level that we've been playing all year, and uh, we got to get back to that. Uh, obviously, this was a, a, a our poor, I think our poorest game of the year, and um, you know, the outcome speaks for that. Jim, you guys came out seemed like with some intensity, and then you missed, had some good looks there, and were able to, weren't able to convert a few lay-ins, and it and kind of swung back in UW's favor after that. Was that kind of a, you obviously like to make those shots right at the beginning, right? I mean, well, you know, <laughs> when you miss as many layups as we missed tonight, you know, I, I don't, we work on it. We'll continue to work on it. Um, but, you know, to me, the, the, we were not in our normal poise, our normal routine. It looked like we were rushing and, and some things like that, that that I hadn't seen this year. And, uh, you know, we just, we, you know, we got to get better. And we work on those things, we'll continue to work on it. You know, it's um, it's obviously a disappointing outcome. Uh, just, just the way we played is just not ourselves. But, uh, you know, we have to learn from it, and we, we have to continue to get better. This is early in the, in the Pac-12, and uh, this team is capable of way, way more uh, play than what we saw tonight and you know it starts with me as a head coach and our coaching staff to find ways to to get them to play back at the level that that we become accustomed to this year and June this is a the second game in a row that, that you guys have shot around 25 27 percent yeah it is is there anything specifically uh, that you're going to try to do this week to kind of get that going yeah you know we can sit here and make excuses about injuries and, and things like that and and we've had our share and obviously with the loss of the team we have some ankles and bang up and but everybody has you know somebody you know they make the excuses that doesn't you know that, that to me doesn't doesn't work i thought that uh you know we we had some um isolations we were trying to established tonight. Um, sometimes when Washington was in their zone, it was tough to get those isolations, but in the man-to-man, -man, you know, I thought we had some early, and those shots didn't fall for whatever reasons. And, and then, you know, like he was talking about, you know, you're two feet from the basket, these have to go and stuff. But, um, uh, you know, we've got to find some answers offensively right now, and, and, and we will. I've got great kids, a great character. I've got two outstanding leaders here to my right and left that uh, um, you know, I know they'll go to work and they'll be good examples for the other kids to, to, to get back in the gym and, and let's get it fixed. That's what we're about. And, and is it going to be, you know, I don't want to say it's nice to get away from Poland, but is it going to be a little bit of a break to, to hit the road a little bit coming up here? Well, you know, it, it was it, the crowd was great. I really appreciate the media and everybody who, uh, you know, did all the stories and obviously our marketing department did a great job. It was a beautiful crowd. We really appreciate it. We just really, really feel like we let them down. You know, we feel like we let our crowd down tonight. And uh, no, so no, I mean, we, we love playing in Beasley. And, uh, but we'll go on the road. We played well on the road all year. We played a lot of games on the road. And, um, but the biggest thing is, you know, we, we've got to learn from this and we, we've got to get better quick because, uh, you know, we have uh, Cal and Stanford staring, staring at us down here in, you know, about five days. Jim, you started a, a different rotation, mm -hmm. different lineup. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, you know, we're, we're um, you know, uh, Brandy Thomas had a really outstanding game uh, last week, and we're trying to get her more offense, get her more offense, whether it's the post-up or her perimeter game. Um, she, she's really getting better defensively at, at, at uh, understanding what she's, you know, supposed to do at her position. Remember, Brandy played inside last year, now she's moved outside. So she definitely had earned that starting position um, tonight, and um, you know, uh, you know, she she she'll be all right. She'll be all right. But sometimes it's not easy for kids to be in the starting lineup after they've come off the bench for a year and a half. So 
We'll keep working with her. I've got a lot of confidence in Brandy Thomas. Is there going to be a, a front going to the next game, that, that change in the lineup? You know, it, it's always de determined by how we did in games and then practices and those situations. So too, too early to say, you know, too early to say. Did your defensive game plan change when you knew Regina Rogers was going to play? Uh, no, no, it, it didn't change at all. Um, I thought that, you know, we were trying to get a little more pressure on the corners uh, with, with her out of the game, especially when, you know, when they started hitting, hitting the threes and all. But uh, we, we kind of anticipated that might be the case after not watching her be able to play in overtime, you know, in their loss at home. So, but no, our defensive plan didn't change because of that. And talk a little about Jasmine Davis. She had 25 points, and every time you guys seem to get momentum, it seemed like she just hit a three. She had a great game. It. She had a great game. Outstanding player. No doubt about it. I say that and all, you know, I'm not trying to be anything but, uh, you know, very uh, appreciative of the way she played. It's tough against us. No, but she, she, to me, she put their team on her shoulders tonight and uh, found a way. Found a way and just kept finding a way, even with the runs that were going on. Questions for Coach? Um, what did you notice tonight that the team will focus on in practice this week? Uh, I think I didn't think that we played with high, high level energy the first 20 minutes at all, and um, you know our rotations were late defensively, and, and we gave up way too many open looks on on simple pick on ball plays that that we've seen a lot of this year. I think the other thing is that we were not tough on the boards at all. Uh, you know we we've got to make contact and. You know, keep people off the glass. Uh, Argens had had an unbelievable game with her offensive boards tonight, and and some of their other players, but her in particular, you know, really caused us trouble. Especially when I think when we had that run going, when we had it down to seven or eight. What were you trying to tell the team? I guess at that point with the offensive boards, and you know, trying to give yourself more chances to, to get some offense. Going. Yeah, we we just wanted to finish the play defensively. You know, we wanted to to you know if, you know obviously they were trying to use the, the clock a little bit. But when we had the run going, I, you know, I thought we had the shot clock down quite a bit, and then we gave up the just too many offensive boards, you know, in that series. I think it was six six zero run at that point, all, all off of O boards. It might have been even eight eight. I'm not sure because we fouled. I think in one of the situations, but I don't know what happened on the free throw.